What is going on guys? It's your boy Waylon coming at you from Medellin. And today I'm going to be telling you guys about how I lost my wallet and my phone this weekend. Okay, so before I get started, I just want to let you guys know that this is not going to be an entertaining video. But in this video, I'm just going to talk about how I lost my wallet, and then a couple hours later, I lost my phone. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to talk about how safe I think Medellin is, and maybe give you guys some tips and tricks on how to handle yourself so that this doesn't happen to you. Also, I just want to say one thing that I am definitely a naive person, 100%. But I'm not stubborn, so this was a learning experience for me, but hopefully I can teach you guys something as well. Okay, so first things first, I was out drinking. I was out with three of my buddies that I met at the co-working space, and one Colombian guy, who one of my buddies invited and vouched for, but also kind of warned me about. Anyways, we're drinking a lot, right? Now, I'm not going to give you every single detail of the night, but but I'm really trying to get drunk. Um, now, I'm not really succeeding because I did have like a gigantic dinner, which I guess doesn't really matter. But anyways, we drank two bottles of rum, two half bottles of rum, which is the 750 milliliter ones, um, amongst three of us. Uh, so I guess I did drink a lot. I also did obviously have a couple beers. And, but yeah, I, I didn't feel like I was that drunk, but I definitely did drink a lot. So, um, you know, I don't know. There's the facts and then there's my opinion. Okay, so we go to this area called Gaiselo, and this area does not have a lot of tourists at all. Um, but eventually we make our way to Parque Geras, which is full of tourists. And we, we go from place to place. We, go, we start at one place and we go to another. Now that I remember, I definitely did drink at, I, I took a couple of shots at one of these places. And then we went to a club. And at this club, it was kind of packed, like in the middle, it was definitely packed, like you would have to, it would be body to body. But then around the outsides, there was areas where you could walk around and you wouldn't have to like shimmy through people. So we're hanging around the outsides and uh, like we just find a little table and we're hanging out for a second and I see this girl standing by herself. So naturally I just go say hello, how are you in Spanish of course. And within 30 seconds to a minute of me talking to this girl, I feel someone take my wallet out of my pocket and I feel it. And instantly I turn around That's so bad. And instantly I turn around and I see this guy in a red shirt. And I'm like, I get right up in his face. I'm like, did you take my wallet? I'm like, like, I'm like freaking out. I'm like, did you take my wallet? Did you take my wallet? And I'm like checking his hands, like checking his fucking pockets, like fucking patting him down. He, he, like, he didn't have it. I mean, I don't know, whoever took it, whether it was him and he handed it off or somebody else kind of swooped in and walked away real quick. My friends didn't see any of it and um, yeah, my, my wallet was gone, dude. Like, just like that. I talked to a girl for 30 seconds, my wallet's gone. And I, and I instantly turned around like, that is my opinion, I'll be honest. Uh, like. I did drink a lot. I didn't feel drunk, man. I was like perfectly coherent in my opinion, but I mean, facts are I did drink a lot. Anyways, there, the, one of the workers, uh, one of the girls that worked there like came up to me. She's like, what's going on? What's wrong? And I'm like, somebody took my wallet. Somebody took my wallet. And she's like, who took it? Like we can stop them. And I was like, I, I, I don't fucking know. Yeah, wallet's, wallet's pretty much gone at this point. I'm, I'm like looking around and I don't see anybody. I, um, I'm upset for a second, but I'm, I'm with other people. I'm not the kind of guy that wants to drag anybody down with me. So I'm like, all right guys, like wallet's gone. Luckily I still had some cash in my other pockets. And um, 
the night must go on, right? I guess, I don't know. So we do kind of walk around a little bit more around Parque Geras. We get some empanadas and then we go to another place. We take a cab to a place called Balmadia. I probably have one more beer there. And the one thing that did happen there was I met a girl and she had two friends. And I got her phone number, but then we got separated, whatever. Um, so it's basically coming down to So, it's basically coming down to what feels like the end of the night. And at this point, it's just me and one of my buddies and the Colombian guy. And we have another one of our buddies who's at this techno thing, and we told him that we would go meet up with him. So, I want to stay true to my word. Um, I'm basically, I'm telling my buddy, I'm like, look, I'm going to head out of here, but I'm going to go to that techno thing. And then he's like, no, I don't want to go. So he's kind of doing his own thing. And now it's me and the Colombian guy. And we're outside of Palma Ia waiting for an Uber. So we're waiting for the Uber and it cancels. Waiting for another Uber. That one cancels. And that happens about three, four more times. It happens quite a few times. During that span, we run into that one girl whose number I got and her two friends. And it's me and this Colombian guy, and we're talking to them. We're letting them know, hey, we're waiting for the Uber. We're going to this techno thing. It's going to be fun. And they're like, oh, like, we'll tag along. Like, let's go. And I'm like, all right, well, this Uber's canceled. Next one's going to be here in five minutes. Oh, shit, that one canceled. Next one's going to be here in eight minutes. You know what? That one canceled also. So they're like, why don't we take a cab? Um, well, funny thing is, someone stole my wallet today, so I got, like, no cash. They're like, okay, well, we got it. So, we get in the cab, right, and I'm sitting in the back with the girl that I met and her two friends, and then the Colombian guys up front. Basically, we need directions to get to the place. Pull it up on my phone, I got the maps up, Google Maps, and I give my phone to the Colombian guy sitting up front. Okay, so he's got the phone, he's giving directions. Now, we're on the way, so I wanna let my buddy who's at the techno thing, I wanna let him know that we're coming. So, I'm like, yeah, let me get my phone. And then he's like, but I'm giving directions to the, the driver. And I was like, I gotta, I gotta text our buddy. And then he's like, I'm like, I gotta text him. Give me the phone. So he gives me the phone. I text my buddy and I'm like, hey, we're on our way. And I give him the phone back. And I know for a fact that I do. But I'm in the back seat. I have been drinking. And, um, and I'm hanging out with three, three other girls. So like, I am definitely distracted, no doubt. <clears throat> So we get to the place and we run right inside. It's kind of in this side street. It is kind of a little sketchy street. So it's not like you can hang out outside. It's like you get there, walk through the door, like no hanging out outside. It's basically like a rave. So we get in and it's 15,000 pesos ahead, which is not that much. It's about maybe $3 a person, but I don't have any cash. So I run inside and I go get my buddy and I'm like, hey, I don't have any cash and I got these three girls downstairs. I kind of need to borrow some money to get myself and them in. And then he's like, and he's like, what? Um, okay, I guess, like you got me back, right? I was like, yeah, man, like I loaned you a hundred thousand the other night. Like, just get me this time. Like I got you back. And then he's like, well, okay. But look, my phone's dying. If I need you to call us an Uber, like, you got it, right? And I was like, yeah, yeah. So I checked for my phone, and I'm like, oh, like, the Colombian guy's got my phone. No worries. So we're downstairs, and I meet, I, I, we, we get the girls in, and then I walk up to the Colombian guy, and I'm like, yo, like, you got my phone, right? Let me get it back. And he's like, what? I don't have your phone. And I was like... And I just looked at him, and I was like, you're fucking kidding me, right? And in Spanish, I was like, me esta jodiendo, no? And I'm like, I'm like right in his fucking face, bro. I'm like, like, you're fucking kidding me, right? Like, there's no way you're doing this to me right now. You have my phone, I gave it to you. And he's like, no, man, I don't have it. I don't have it, no, no, I don't have it. And I'm like, fucking patting him down, I'm like, yo, Give me my phone back, dude. Like, I know you have it. I'm like, empty your pockets. Empty your pockets right now. 
He just kind of pulls everything out of his, and he's holding it in his hand, and I'm like, ah, oh, shit. Oh. And he doesn't have it. And I don't know, man, like, so I go up to our buddy, and I'm like, yo, like, he, like, I gave him my phone, he doesn't have it, like, and thinking, like, he's got my back, like, oh, like, dude, you can't be doing this, like, stop taking people's phones. But now he was like, well, are you sure? Like, you've been drinking. Like, but I was like, ah, man, like, he's not on my side. Like, what can I do? I, like, he had my phone. Like, I know he did. I know I gave it to him. Like, he says he doesn't have it. And then, um, he's kind of just like, well, you know what? You've been drinking a lot, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, like, dude, look at me, like, I'm perfectly coherent, like, you know what, it's not even that he doesn't have my phone that's bothering me, it's that he, he just said, look, man, I don't have it, I don't have it, he didn't have this, like, moment of clarity that was like, oh my god, I left it in the cab, it wasn't that, it was just like, look, man, I don't have it, I don't have it, stop pointing fingers at me, and, um, you know what, like, I know I made a mistake, like, that is 100% fact. Like, I, I put my trust in somebody a little too, too easily. And, I mean, that's, I mean, that's only my fault, right? Like, for all I know, he did just leave it in the cab. Or for all I know, he slipped it in a shoe or something. Or for all I know, one of the girls in the back of the cab took it. But, like... That was me being naive. That was me being foolish. That was me not being careful. So yeah, I mean, that's pretty much how the night ended. Um, my buddy called us an Uber home and we went home and it was kind of a sad night. Like, it's kind of a shitty night. So to wrap up this video, is Columbia, is Medellin safe? You know what? Like, People get pickpocketed in Miami, in Atlanta. I'm sure they get pickpocketed in Chicago, New York, LA. Um, so, look man, just, you gotta be careful. Look, if you go out to a hot touristy spot, put your wallet in your front pocket. Don't let yourself be a target, right? And, and that's something I learned. And, um, you know, if, it definitely sucks, but this had to happen to me for me to believe that bad things can happen to me because my whole life up to now i mean i can't even lie i've been pretty fortunate or just simply naive if you're gonna go out to parquejeras put your wallet in your front pocket another thing that i did not that night but the night before i went out and i like to play this game called heads up on my phone it's basically this game where you put your phone on your forehead and you, your friends try to uh, tell you what the word is um, without saying the word and you have to guess it correctly. Now, I play that game all the time in the States and I never thought twice about it. But my buddy brought it to my attention afterwards. Like, I'm playing this game holding my phone up and, and handing my phone to other people to play their turn. And he brought it to my attention that, like, you're just telling other people that you're, you're being loose with your phone. And I was like, wow, like, you know, probably will not be busting that game out anymore. And people say, don't, like, worry about your phone. Yeah, worry about your phone a little bit. Like, you can pull it out, send a text message, check Instagram real quick, but hold it in your hand right in front of you. You know, look around. But, you know, send a text message, whatever. Take a picture if you want, but put it back in your pocket after. Let, like, don't, don't be that guy or girl that isn't careful with their stuff. Don't let other people see that you're not careful with your stuff. Okay, so if there's anything you can take away from this video, look, you can come to Medellin, you can go to Parque Geras. Just, just be, just, just don't be stupid. If you're gonna get belligerently drunk, just, just, don't, don't even bring a wallet, just bring cash. Like, I ended up losing one debit card, two credit cards, my ID, and God knows what else I had in my wallet. Luckily, I keep most of my cash at home. 
Um, I only brought out like 100,000 pesos with me. So I didn't lose that much, but that was a coach wallet. And it was $130 and uh, just, just don't make yourself a target, you know what I mean? Anyways guys, I hope you did learn something from my story. If you did, make sure to write me a comment below or uh, like this video, that'd be super cool. If you want to see more videos, I will be posting another one soon this week. Um, and feel free to subscribe so you don't miss it. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time.